Greetings, Internet. Welcome to the first official episode in the Adventures of Felon Frisky. I was going to start the segment off by jumping off the, uh, the Imperial Tower here, but fortunately I found out that you can only get up here using no clip, and if I turn no clip off, I'll fall through it promptly. Like this. Apparently, the tower itself doesn't have clipping at all. So. Wake up, pretty kitty. Anyway, my name is Cloak, and again, welcome to this Let's Play about a Khajiit Nightblade cheapskate named Felon Frisky. Though it may be true that I have had to play the opening segment of this game, it's a lot. I haven't really got very far in this game myself. I think the furthest I've got to was actually sealing the first gate to oblivion. Just after you deliver the amulet to Joffrey. Which, by the way, is our current quest. However, it would be nice to poke around the Imperial City first, so let's just get up there and see. Okay, so we're finally outside the door of the Imperial City. The Market District. Let's go. Have you ever been to the King and Queen Tavern? The King and Queen is a nice place. The Marillans treat everyone well. Goodbye. Have mercy. Just one point. And we need to deliver the ammo to Joffrey, which is our primary quest. But it would be nice to sell some of the stuff I acquired back at me uh, sewer from previously. So. The best defense. That's me, Morrow Rufus. Light armor. The very best. Good to know. I like light armor. Great, I don't remember what the shot button looked like. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. I think this is the cell area. Oh yeah, okay. Again, haven't really played this game too much. Outside of the introduction scene. Because I'm cheap and we're playing a cheapskate here, I think a primary rule is Felon does not strike me as a character who would buy armor. He would probably prefer to steal it. So, the only thing I think I'm probably going to allow myself to buy, at least for now, is going to be lock picks because I plan to do a, lots of uh, later on theft. Oh, stuff is great. Junk. Staffs, spells, elegance, that's 
dress clothes, magic, I think. Where do they keep standard general store? Where I can find, you know, things like lockpicks. Copious coin purse, that sounds like an ideal place for it. Oh, okay. What kind of deal can I make for you today? He strikes me as a guy that sells lockpicks. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Wow, I'm actually kind of disappointed. No lockpicks? You remind me of a D&D &D kinder. Please, you should have lockpicks around. If I come back late at night, start some stealing. Books. Now let's just go get to jo go see Joffrey then. Get the quest done. The faster I get to the new stuff that's new to me, the faster things... Yeah, crap. <laughs> Um, hmm. This might take some time to get out of the Imperial City. Okay, so I found the way out of the Imperial City. All I gotta do is go, right, little red marker is on the map. Or on the compass, excuse me. However... It would be nice to not have to walk. I don't mind stealing. Ugh, that could have gone better. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Rastitta Statlilia. I work at the Chestnut Handy Stables. Have you seen our horses wandering around? No. No? Okay. It's just that they're missing. What do you call these? Okay. Farewell. Um. What do you mean? How do they? How? Do, all right. Uh, sure. No problem. <laughs> Damsel in stress. No problem, lady. I'll be Put delighted to get on that. Thank you. Sleep. Go 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 go. Stop! You violated the law. Since you lack the funds to pay the court, you must now serve out your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Then pay with your blood! See ya! Stupid horse. <laughs> See, the funny thing about, um... Running from the cops, as long as I don't- as long as I get away, quote-unquote, and if I don't talk to another guard, I should actually be able to get away with that bounty for until I'm able to pay it off with whatever gold I happen to acquire later. Although I think guards up in Coral are going to probably bust me for having the horse in the first place. So I should actually lose the horse before the Priory. One of those games where you commit a felony, everybody and their cousin knows it. Coral, oh. alright, it's Coral. That's where we're going. again stupid horse it, it doesn't steer really good it's kind of hard to control <laughs> oh um see how he just let me go ignored me it's because apparently i got away as long as i don't talk to another guard I sh they shouldn't remember who i am or what i did Bad news in this game travels really quickly. Ooh. 
be as little as taking one little piece of gold, then guess what? I think if I get off the horse and get back on it, it counts as increase the bounty by again 250 for stealing the horse a second time. Well, they expect me to run here on my own power? I could have fast traveled, but that's hardly fun. All right, that's I think is the priory, is it? Yes, yeah, the priory. So. Uh... Uh, two options. We can go about this. We can go in the priory with the horse and see if they bust us or go without the horse. Let's go with the horse. I arrived at Warren Priory. Now I must take the animals to Kings to Joffrey. That was the plan. Huh. Nobody's here. Hmm. Uh, you there. Hey. Hey. I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name. And this is Waynon Priory. Oh, Waynon Priory. I've been mispronounced the whole time. Joffrey. If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory house. I wish you'd tell me which house was that, but okay, thanks. Be seeing you. You can have the horse. I guess this is the Priory House. Uh, that's gotta be this one. <laughs> oh, yep, this is it. Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. Well, I just watched a stranger off the street will come in there and do this. As far as you know, I'm an assassin. Dark Brotherhood or something. Nope. Oh. Okay. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Hmm. I brought you the amulet case. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let <laughs> me see it. Try to think about that. <laughs> By the nine, this is the amulet of kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Yeah, I'll admit it's pretty strange. Uh, let's ask this one. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. As you can guess what that means for the title... I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. But didn't he have another hair? I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguard the blades. Oh, I'm sorry. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. You don't know, but you're supposed to watch over him every once in a while. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. 
If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Hmm. Oh, uh, if we ask a bunch of questions, let's just, um... Dig through the treasure box he's got Waste here. no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Your first priority now should... Is there a way for him to give me the key? I oh, assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Translation, take whatever you want. Would you open it? Thank you. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What I don't need can always be sold. Uh-oh, we're over encumbered. I think we'll be putting something back then. Um, Two-handed claymore, I like that. I do like two-handed weapons. No, I'll put that back. Now we could change out the equipment on Frisky. All right, let's see. I want light armor personally because it's night blade. The bonuses are light armor. Wait, weapon, right? She had a shield in there. Oh, it's that rough piece of crap. Oh well. We'll just carry around the claymore then. It's less conspicuous. <laughs> Hello! Have you heard the odd noises coming from your gal Bellette's place? I thought I heard something the other night. Oh, it's none of my business, though. May Talos guide you. Well, anyway, I gotta get to that city. I believe that's the next quest, right? Uh... Yeah, yep. Which is... Just south here. It's pretty dang far south of here. Alright. Let's go and do that. Where I put that horse still here? Horse leave. Oh, well. Although we get it grabbed and arrested, that might speed things up too. Hmm. I think we'll split the video here, actually. Pick it up on the next part. Yes.